What's going on? I'm back at it again. Drams on deck. Today, we got a request it. We got a request to spare right here. Today, we got Ade Fusini. This right here is a VSOP, very special old pal, cognac here. And this is one actually that, I'm gonna be honest with you, you don't see this very often. And this also bottled at 40% ABV, alcohol by. This is the container that comes in. I like the container, this is very bright orange. And I'll be honest with you, if you actually ever see this um, in a, um, just a little grand test, if you ever actually see this inside of a, um, a liquor store, it's, not, it's very noticeable because it's a very light green tan. That being said, this bottle right here, VSOP should be aged roughly around at least four years. And I actually, uh, this is the very first bottle that I've ever had of this. I've had this particular bottle probably about, uh, I'll say about eight months or something around there, eight to 10 months. I bought it at Total Wines and Spirits. And to be honest, Total Wines and Spirits is the only store that I can recall seeing this particular bottle at. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's, there's some other ones, but Total Wines is pretty much a national chain. So they pretty much carry the, the, this exclusively there. Um, but I know uh, outside of that, I have not seen this Adele Fusini at too many spots outside of that. And it's really a shame because it is a really good uh, uh, spirit. It's a very good cognac. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I prefer, I'm a whiskey guy. I, I, I prefer all spirits. I don't care what it is. If it tastes good to me, tastes king, I will drink it, I will keep it, review it, and enjoy it. But uh, probably my favorites are more whiskeys and then tequilas. I do enjoy cognacs as well. Um, so this right here is like I said, this is one that to the average person, they won't know what the hell this is. If you say, I do for me, or you can show them this, they've probably never even seen it before because it's not in the club, not in commercials, and it's just not something you're gonna see on every single uh, liquor store. So these are usually for the people who are more, uh, have, have a more refined taste outside of just a normal Hennessy, Cavassier, Irving Martin. You know, those are the, the well-known cognacs, at least in Americas. Um, so this one right here is not nowhere near as well-known, but if you ask me, in my personal opinion, it stacks up with them. Uh, this bottle ran me, I want to say around, it's been a while, but I want to say around 50, 60 bucks, somewhere around there. We'll say 50 bottles. Sometimes it may be higher or lower, but we'll say 55 or so. Or um, It was a, was a ballpark that I paid for this. Um, so this one right here, unlike uh, most cognacs that I see, it actually tells you the notes on it. You know, most cognacs when you look at, it, especially when you're talking about the, the chain ones, like the Hennessy, the Cabassier, you know, all those ones, remarks, you don't ever see tasting in nose notes or palate notes on the actual expression bottle. Maybe over they're very, very high-end ones, like maybe you got a Louis XIII or you got the Hennessy Paradis, you might catch it there. But just a, on any VSOP, you, you, you grab a Martel or, or a Cavassi VSOP, it's not gonna have that. I thought that was a nice touch to it, just to add that, because like I said, most cognacs typically don't, at least Americanized ones, the party ones, you don't see that there. But anyway, we're gonna get, we're gonna get on the nose, the palate, I'm gonna score it in just a second. But shouts out to Chris Miller, he uh, requested this one. I don't have the XO, this is the VSOP, and this is actually the Grand Champagne version. I have a couple versions of VSOP. Um, this is the one, the Grand Champagne one. I have this one. So I'm gonna go jump in right here and give you my opinion of the review. So here we go. Right, pick it up. I, it's something with me, my nose. I, when, when any good cognac, I always pick up grapes. It smells grapey. And that's a good thing. I like grapes because obviously it should be fermented from wine, so it should be grapes. Just picking up some mostly grape, just a little little spice. I can't tell you what the spice is, um, but grape spice it has another fruit. I was picking up like a plum, peach, something like that. But mostly on the nose, it's not super strong or powerful. You know, you get it. I got to put my nose deeper than I poured this dram probably maybe 10 minutes ago. Let it open up a little bit. But on the probably on the nose for me is the grape and a little bit of the spice and the plum. That that's what I pick up predominantly. And then, like I said, it's not super you know uh, potent, but it is pleasant. It has a sweet smell to it. Like it. yes, just those three things right there is what I pick up. And now uh, you know for me, I wish that. If cognacs came in a cash strength or, or what you call barrel strength, um, 
very there's a very few about I searched online there's a couple of them that you will find but those are really really hard to find those are very uncommon there's a couple of cognacs you'll see for maybe 43 percent but if I could get a cognac that was 50 percent or higher that'd be awesome that would be awesome but those is you, I mean good luck finding those you have to hunt those down and probably search online something of that nature but it is in May um, um, we're gonna jump right in this like I said this is a thought put it out there I and mean, we need more Barrel strength or uh, cash strength uh, cognacs. I think that'll be awesome. On the palate, mm. that's a good. Mm. That's a good one right there. I'm gonna wait. Give me one more sip. Then I give you my opinion because sometimes the first sip for me it's kind of appetizes you. Second one when you really at least I really really it saturates my my palate. Just a hint of pepper on it, like a little. This is a little touch, of like a like a syrupy taste. It's not super viscous. I don't know if you can pick up the color on this. So it's not super viscous on here. I mean, oily, but it is. It has a very nice sweet aftertaste on on, on, on a entry level. I taste the grapes, and then and then even the mid palate. You know, it takes the grapes and the nutmeg. When I finish it. I get like a sweet finish. It's like the finish is pretty medium. It's not long. It's not short. It's kind of medium. Like I just down that maybe about 45 seconds ago, I still get a hit of it. So it has a you know a decent sized finish on it. But mostly on the finish, I just pick up just like the the, the uh, plum portion, like the plum, the grape. But the grape I, I can get it all throughout. But on the mid palate, where I get more of the the little bit of the pepper. A little bit of that uh, that sweetness of it, like nutmeg or whatever spice that may be. All in all, it's a good, very good jam. And to me, I, I, I find it to be slightly more uh, complex than the normal Cavai CA. Like if I and I've had those VSOPs and expressions before. I've had the Hennessy Privilege. I've had the Remy Martin VSOP, and then I've had you know the Martell and this. In my opinion, this stacks up probably be better than pretty much all those. Um, you know, I, I think it's, it's slightly more sophisticated. When I say that, I mean that it tastes more of uh, the more wine. It tastes more, I guess you say, organic. Not saying that it is organic, but it to me has more of it. Doesn't have more more of a of a, I would I would call a a, a saturated or, or I would say a, you know domesticated uh, taste to it. Just, it tastes very, very organic, very fresh, very, the grapes are very prevalent, a little pepper, a little nutmeg. It's very good, you know. I can say, I personally, I, if this was like 50% or higher, I'll keep going back to it, even though it's not going to happen, but I'm just putting my opinion out there. If this was 50% or higher, oh my God, it would be amazing. But this right here is 40%. And it, like I said, it, it, does, it doesn't have like a strong alcohol punch or anything, which is a good thing, because some people doesn't like that. Some people like it, some people don't. So it has a very... Uh, mellow taste, very approachable. You don't get like a, a burn or anything like that. Very nice. Um, like I said, the most the most prevalent thing you taste is grape, nutmeg, plum, and a little bit of pepper. This is the last sip. I'm going to score it. Very pleasant, very pleasant. Has a medium dry finish, you know. Um, it's not, you know, doesn't have like a very wet. Well, it's like on the finish, it's almost like a wine. Like it's more of like a, a 
but like, we get like a Cabernet Sauvignon or more like a darker wine and when it goes down as a, like a dry finish that's kind of what I'm picking up on this one but it still has a sweetness to it a sweet and dry and medium finish but once again on the mid palate I pick up the last one I pick up the nutmeg a little bit of pepper and then you get great all throughout from the front to the to the finish a nice strong grape it has a nice balance to it like I said it's not super aggressive it's, it's not very um, uh, you know, like a punchy or anything like that. It's not very viscous either. Um, so maybe if it was an XO or, or, or beyond, perhaps it may be perhaps more, at least more viscous than this, but be it as it may, uh, I think it's a, it is a very, very, at a, it, I think for the price point, it is, it's awesome. Like I said, I think it's better than most of the well-known ones. Like I said, to me, it's definitely better than Cavasse and Martel VSOB. Um, so it, it is awesome. Um, I will probably be looking to get the XO at some point. But for this, I do Fusini, Grand Champagne, BSOP. Uh, like I said, you can get this at most of the only spots I really said as a total wines. Uh, you can check elsewhere in whatever area that you may be. I'm sure you can find that those outlets. Um, but for me, uh, scoring this one to 10, 10 being the best. Um, I, for on the cognac scale, I'm, I'm comparing to his contemporaries. I would give this a solid eight, solid eight, all day. Like I said, you get you get a nice balance of it, different flavors. You get the little fruit flavor, the little, little bit. Some people may pick up toffee or whatever, but I pick up more nutmeg, and then you get the you know like some little pepper, and this is well balanced. You know, saying no burn, no bite, and I like it. It's very it's very well put together, very approachable, and like I said, on, on, only thing that I will say, like I said, you're just not going to see it everywhere. So if you can find this outside of Total Wine Experience with the price point that I told you, you in there. Um, so I first learned about this a couple years ago. I, first time I ever, ever remember sitting, I remember I was on vacation in uh, South Beach and I went to a Total Wines there and the guy introduced this to me. It was another one uh, that he introduced me to as well. I think it was the AK6 or something like that. I'm going with my memory. But I, and uh, I, first time I seen it there, I got a small sample. But at that time, uh, I was long before I was reviewing, and I was more on a, uh, didn't really have time to really take it in, enjoy it like I am now. Be it as it may, I do Fusini, uh, VSOP Grand Champagne. It's a solid eight all day. Um, if you can get it, I would suggest it's worth your time. If you're into cognacs, I think it's worth your time if, if, if that's your uh, flavor profile. Um, definitely check it out. And I will look to get more expressions of this. And like I said, compared to contemporaries and for the bargain, I think it's excellent. It's better than uh, most of his contemporaries, in my personal opinion. But if you happen to uh, be able to try it, hit me uh, in a comment box and let me know your opinion. Let me 